Okay. Um, we discussed fives and cuts and everything. Um, and we're gonna do, there's two versions, so there's many versions, but the one that I'm using doing these techniques is the very extended. So when I, I do my 45 degrees, I roll my hand out and I extend my arm and I hit with the tip of the blade so that my opponent, I can hit my opponent as, when he's as far away as possible. That's very nice for me. Um, but I do hit in a 45 degrees angle and I do uh, rotate my hip. I can shoot it forward or I can rotate it. The same over here. So that's the way that I'm showing in the techniques. But a really good exercise to get your core uh, working and to get your um, raw me mechanics and understanding how to rotate is actually um, when you, you hold your, you actually hold the sword in 45 degrees, the, the, the forbidden hammer grip, whatever, and you're basically thinking that the pommel has to hit the hip, has to go to the hip, you rotate and and you have to think about it as a, you know, when you throw someone over your shoulder. Um, it's a very short uh, way of moving, but it it's very nice to keep, if you want to keep everything close. So you can do it as a cut, but you can also do it as a block. And then you rotate and then the uh, the attack comes in so I, I think it's a good idea to just as a basic warm-up exercise um, here um, and then when you when you have this feeling it's also very it's very nice for the hip and you can put a step into it um, and then you can when you've got this down then you can start to extend suddenly you are out of distance and you can put the shield on but we have to think that this little box that we're moving in uh, has to be def def defended and again if I attack someone here he's very close but it's the same move when I shoot out the sword and then he's far away.